motherfucker. Um, some so significant noises. Some noises, yes. <laughs> um, first thing I'll show you is really simple. It's just like it's uh, it's an orb picture we captured in the basement. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of natural orbs around here, and then we caught one blue one that I thought was really cool. And I, I'll show you the enhanced version of it real quick. Um, it's kind of blown up. This is what it looks like, um, you know, mm -hmm. shown up. And you know, you're in the, there, and you have these pale colored uh, dust orbs surrounding it, and then you have this one defiant blue one, which, and normally, you know, I, you probably know this, but you know, the orb would define uh, the first stage of you know a spirit manifesting itself. And blue is a New definite color. Yeah, exactly. It's not pale. It's not. You're not going to get. It's blue. not just brightness or darkness. It's a color. It's it's mm -hmm. a color. Exactly. It's not dull or you know. Yeah. Um, dust isn't blue. You know, and there's there wasn't any water dropping anywhere. It's just you know, even that's a defined blue. That's straight up blue. So, I just thought that was a cool one. Um, we don't focus on orbs a lot, but that something like that is some mm -hmm. sort of energy sitting there. And we did get an EVP in that same room that was downstairs, and you said, you said like the servants' quarters. That, that was, was the servants' quarters. So okay. We had three servants. There was a new girl born down there. The there was a girl. The servants had a baby girl. Okay, and that's cool because we did get an EVP, and it sounds like a woman down there or a girl. Um, what I said was, my friend uh, Paul, he had the EVP recording device in his hand, and mm -hmm. I said, if there's anybody down here and they want to talk, speak right into the device in my friend's hand, and it will record your voice. And what it said was okay. Now, I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear this on the laptop, but this is what it is. It's really low. It's kind of like a whisper and says, okay. Did you hear it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just uh, almost a background noise. Yeah, almost. <laughs> it's a lot... It, so I, it sounds like your background's in the foreground and the okay's in the background. Yeah, it, 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 they, it speaks like through... You'll hear the white noise. If it's completely silent, it's really hard to hear EVPs. Um, it's the type of thing that a housemaid would have said. Somebody's got an issue. Okay. Okay. <laughs> get, rid of, get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, the next thing we're going to go is... I think you said it was a gentleman's bedroom with the bear. Yeah. Uh, we were up there and we were doing an EVP session. That was the oldest son's bedroom, that was my son's bedroom. Alright. What we did, we had a lot of activity around the table. Um, when you walk into the door on the right, there's that table, um, uh, or, or with the, the mirrors. Dresser. Stand, yes, yeah. the dresser. Yeah. Uh, we had, a, for some reason, there was something focusing in that area. You got... Yeah, we, we, okay, again, in the gentleman's bedroom, yeah. uh, we were up there and they had the EVP recording device sitting on that table. Right. When we walk into the door. And they were asking you questions. And, um, okay, the first question, or the first thing that happened was right as he put the recording device down on the table and set it there and moved away from it, uh, a voice said, Take it back. Um, we got okay. a voice on it that said, Take it back. And that's what I'm going to play for you right now. Turn it up a little. If you'd like to say anything, straight into that little red thing right there. That's the one in the background. So you're going to hear him talking, you know, if, if you'd like to say anything, say it straight into that r little red light right there. And then after that, it says, take it back. It's, it's kind of low. It's so much easier to hear with headphones. If you'd like to say anything, straight into that little red light right there. It's like right at the end. Like, it's hard to hear. Um, so that's that one. And then the one, this is one of my favorites, the favorite EVP we got that night. Um, Kurt asked, do you like it here? Um, he was asking, you know, just whoever was in the room, do you like it here? And the spirit said, enough. Um, and it's kind of like a two-syllable kind of thing. It's like, enough. I'll show you that one. Enough. That's, that's mm -hmm. actual, that's not one of them. The, the EVP was on the table and he asked, do you like it here? And it said this. And that's in complete silence. They weren't talking. I watched it on the video footage. Nobody was talking. All right, this is what I was talking about earlier. This, as you can see, the bedroom door had cracked open earlier. So I set up this camera in that room. You'll see me walking away. You'll see me go and close the door. Um, again, when I first shut it, it slightly comes open because I didn't shut it fully, and then I go back and I fully shut it. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you right here. I set up the camera and I'm just walking out. Now when I shut it the first time, you'll see it come open because I didn't shut it. It just kind of slides open. So I go back and I fully shut it. I'm like... 
Yeah, the door clicks shut. It's shut real good right now. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna, the weirdest thing about this is you're gonna see this light go like this, and then the door opens. Just watch for it. See that? Now the door's open. flicker. Yep. And then it opens. Yeah. That's what That's makes the exact think. same sound. <coughs> it literally sounds like someone's putting their finger on the inside of the door jam and pushing the lock. Yeah. It doesn't sound like someone's going. It doesn't sound yeah. like they grab the handle at all. It just sounds no, like the no, lock moves. There's no twist to the handle. I mean, that's a twisting geared sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is new. And um, I gotta show you again. The little, my screen's a little dirty, but the the the, anomaly, the orb anomaly just goes swoosh right down here to where the door handle would be. Mm -hmm. It goes, and then what is it? Two seconds later, here comes the door open. I'll show you one more time. I, I really thought this was a cool piece of evidence. The only reason it makes me think this is paranormal is because of that orb. That's what's so amazing. And we were all right outside the door when it happened. Yeah, we like were like we right down it. the hallway. Here's the orb. There it goes. Right to the door handle. And open. Yeah. It's just really strange. <laughs> click. Yep. yep. <laughs> it's like a like push they, to click. And I've always thought that too. Like they don't grab door handles. You never see a door handle yeah. just move. The door it's like yeah. they're inside the locking mechanism and they Or they just use the yeah, their they energy open. to open the door. They, 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 let let let's put it this way. It takes a lot of energy to turn turn a door handle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It takes less energy just to push the That's true. Yeah, button. that's a good true. point. That is a good if point. you've got energy and you're limited on energy, why would you use more than you have to? Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's true. Pat told me prior to the investigation that us city people say paranormal too often. These things occur naturally every day, he said, so we should just call them normal. In a way, that is what my team and I are trying to do. We want the world to accept paranormal existence, and with each investigation, we get one step closer.